Do you have anything to look for? Very well. Contact Hyen Base. I will tell them to open a tunnel. Do you have anything to look for? What is it? Do you have anything to look for? We do flow control tacitus there. You have helped us enough. You can set up whatever you want there. Not a problem. I shouldn't be here. And I bear you. I will. Thanks again. What can I do for you? That's good to hear. 
I'll do what I can from up here, which unfortunately isn't much. What can I do for you? I know. I'd rather keep things peaceful, but she made up her mind. I tried. I'm relying on you for this one. What can I do for you? Karen isn't in comms duty for another five. My dear friend, that is excellent news. His wallet is encrypted, but my cryptography experts are working on a solution as we speak. Please send me a complete data dump. Very well. Complete. It is a neural imprint designed to improve artificial intelligence. Contact Herschel about it. They have a station in the Saturnian system. Now, please send over the data. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? Karen isn't on comms duty for another hour. Lingula. Talk. Very well. Contact Hyene Base. Hello, Commander. Hello, Commander. Of course. I'm fine, thank you. What is it? in low temperatures. We need to put that research to the test. Start building the external greenhouse.
कमांडर वी नो इफ दे कैन हेल्प अस ऑल टू बेटर बट बी केयरफुल डेंट What is it? You already are. Commander. Not right now. Maybe Carl has something. Commander. Try asking Carl about. It. Very well. I'll get him for you. Need my help with something? Not exactly. I did find some Chinese metadata in one of the pack. Commander, try it very well. I'll get him for you. Need my help with something? Not exactly. I did find some Chinese metadata in one of the packets. That's not saying much. I did, however, learn some.
Research complete. Commander. Carl's shift starts in six. Anything else? Yes, make it. Construction systems are programmed to not accept weapon schematics. See if you can do anything about that. No, we can't risk it. If our research fails, we can't let those freighters get to Earth.
Construction complete. What can I do for you? How are things going? <laughs> Glad to be of service. I'm an heir to the throne, so to speak. But as my father's seventh child, the odds of ever... Construction complete. What can I do for you? Do you need help building the first computer?
What can I do for you? Wunderbar! We have a 100 exaflop computational capacity through the Nexus. The first research data has already been validated. Yes, of course. Let me check proof of work. You have contributed 60, 80, 90 exaflops of computational power to the Herschel Nexus so far. The compensation rate is 70, 70, 70. So that makes... Um, I'll show you. I will authorize the transfer immediately. Contact me whenever you wish to be paid. Technically yes, but that would compromise our security measures. Besides, I need an incentive for you to keep in touch. We have much for you to do. Well, we need more computer nodes. And we have some exploratory missions for you. We are still waiting for the last survey. But there is another location we need you to survey for us in the Headpad region. There is a peculiar radio signal emanating from the region which blocks our spectrometers. Check your log. It's far away, so you might want to upgrade your rover. Lieber Freund, what can I do for you? Yes, we have another location for you to explore. But we need you to... It's far away, I'll show you. Our topology department will not. Lieber Freund, what can I... Yes, but we are not a charity. What do you need? What can I do for you? Tell me. What can I do for you? Yes? What can I do for you? Not right now.
Excellent. I have come to understand that you have already been in contact with Herschel about the supercomputer. When it is finished, upload the imprint. I have no doubt we will have decoded Mr. Whitelaw's Quark wallet by then. What is it? You already are. Lieber Freund, what can I do for you? Of course. Yes, but we are not a charity. What do you need?
Construction complete. Construction complete. Hi, what can I do for you? I heard you have made a first step towards building the Titan supercomputer. You will probably need ten times as much processing power as you do now for this to work. We have decoded the data and I have transferred it to your storage device. Upload it when the computer is complete. You are making a great contribution to mankind. It is the result of billions of evolutionary iterations in neural networking. It will augment the artificial intelligence on the Herschel Nexus.
I'm in orbit. It's time to prepare. Protecting the concept of liberty and wrestling back control from ISA. They have limited resources and half of planet Earth is firmly in their grasp. But we can take back the orbital shipyards. If we get those back, we can win by attrition. We won't let it come to that. It's a game of chicken and they will fold first. They will, I promise. So would I. We could send down eight shipments if worst comes to worst. If you have a better idea, I'm all ears. The chinks? Those communists will never... Wait a minute. Fight fire with fire. Could work. You'll have to talk to them though. We own the freighters, so let's abandon the idea of embezzling the methane from now on. We just take it all and hold it hostage when they arrive. It's better if they don't see us coming though, so you can keep cooking the books on that and we will still reward you accordingly. Acta Talt could offer us assistance, but you'll have to ask her. I don't think she'll listen to me. It's complicated. Think Romeo and Juliet. Except I was the Juliet and she was the Romeo. Neither of us were cut out for suicide. Yes, we put our businesses first. We have that in common. Meanwhile, Phil and I will prepare an orbital EMP minefield for when the Megiddo arrives. If all goes well, EASA's only space assets will be in the Ovian system. And we'll have them by the balls. It is, but no more dangerous than opening the door for a wannabe dictator. Too bad. I'll be right here if you change your mind. I heard you have made a first step towards building. Good day, mate. We're back in orbit. Van Horn and I go way back and he pays extremely well. At least now I can go about my business without all the regulation. Sing it. Yeah, nah. Sorry. What can I do for you? Lingula. Talk. Come see me in person. Lieber Freund, what can I do for you? Yes, but we are not a charity. Construction complete. Construction complete.
Good. The external biodome is ready. Now we need to figure out how to grow things outside of the greenhouse. What is it? I'm working on it, but our construction systems are programmed to not accept weapon schematics. See if you can do anything about that. Forget the explosives. Let's go terraforming. Commander. Try asking Carl. Very well. I'll get him for you. Need my... Not exactly. I...
Construction complete. Construction complete.
What can I do for you? We can't spare anyone else. ready. Now we need to figure out how to grow things outside of the greenhouse. Commander. Yes, make it. I'm Karen Owens. OCS in Pretoria with Flo. Yes, make it. What can I do for you? Good job. Let me check. Let's see. McKay Lacos. 
Finally something I can pronounce. It's pretty large and it's chock full of methane. Patching it through now. G'day, mate. Sing it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're here. Yeah, so. Yeah, nah. A new computer note. Erstaunlich. You, my friend, are a miracle worker. What can I do for you? Of course. Yes, but we are not a charity. Construction complete.
Construction complete. Construction complete. Search complete. What is it? Well, you already figured out how to grow lit hands, the external. You even figured out how to grow fungus outside of the dome. You were way ahead of me. All that's left is reaching the ecological threshold for the local area. Yes, at some point, the fungal activity will produce enough heat to melt the ice. Well, at least liquefy a few molecules. That'll cause a chain reaction. It won't be enough to grow anything but fungus, but it will be ever so slightly closer to conditions on a hypothetical Antarctic Earth if the atmosphere would be more saturated. When we wait, I can speed it up by tending to each and every spore, but I'll have to focus all of my attention on it. You should put me on that duty in the roster schedule, unless absolutely necessary. What is it? We are not quite there yet. <laughs> Maybe. I can speed it up by tending to each and every spore. You should put me on that duty in the roster schedule. What can I do for you? Construction complete. Construction complete. Hi, what can I do for you?
pleasure doing business with you. Construction complete. Construction complete. Construction complete. Construction complete.
kill me. I know who you are, but I suppose a formal introduction is in order. My name is Magnus Kwokwai, but you can call me Mag. That is a long story. Let's talk inside. Well, here we are. Make yourself at home, and please don't mind if I do. It is, after all, my home. Welcome to my humblest of abodes. Not wearing a cumbersome uniform feels like a luxury on this moon. I indulge whenever I can. Where to begin? I suppose I'll start with my reason for being here, and why I'm counting on your discretion. Let's see. After they found microbiological life on Mars, interest within our government for such things increased. I'm in charge of the team that is researching extraterrestrial life on Titan. That team consists of me. When I found some strange, dense materials and noticed they were not native to Titan, I contacted the ET team on Mars. They took note of my discovery of meteorite rocks with non-organic biological markers. We traded some theories. I believe the committee settled on panspermia before I had to flee. How? Good. Good. You'll have to tell me more later. I was declared a dissident. Apparently I managed to anger a high-ranking party official. Who knows? Sometimes I suspect they conjure up arbitrary charges to keep everyone in line. Although I have been known to criticize the Republic on many occasions, I couldn't really tell you where I crossed the line. Perhaps it was something personal. I don't think it has anything to do with my work. Unless it's someone that needs to be made an example of, it's done without ceremony. People are quietly removed from society, usually in the form of some kind of tragic accident. As was the case for me. Yes, Bai is very good at his job, but he's not infallible. I kept tabs on everyone's communications at Dushinyu. When he offered to accompany me on mission alone, I knew enough. Oh my. You still haven't figured it out. Bai worked for the Ministry of State Security. He and his crony, Aigwo, are the ones who sabotaged your landing craft. I haven't been able to ascertain why, but I'm sure you can come up with a few reasons. As you can imagine, my primary concern was my own impending demise at his hands. I discovered this place during my research and kept it secret. It is an isolated valley with so much interference that I am practically invisible across the electromagnetic spectrum. You might have noticed your vehicle slowing down as you approached this rock formation. These materials in certain configurations generate a dampening field of sorts. There are a couple of such formations in this valley. It just so happens that the very place where my research has led me is the best place to hide. I intend on continuing my work. My work is important for science and humanity as a whole. I'm not myopic about these things and my sense of purpose was never derived from the Republic's dogma. I am my own man. My theory is that these strange materials are organic not strictly alive in the sense that we would understand it, more like fossils. It's not a carbon-based life form, but the concentration of mass has distinct biological markers. These rocks are like fruiting bodies for an underground network of spores. I found a rock formation to the northeast that is the most intact example of this I've seen so far. Bingo! I've been there a couple of times. 
At first I could use the truck, but since I've had to scuttle it to create this makeshift camp, I haven't been able to go. I tried to go on foot, but even with batteries it was an irresponsible risk. I almost didn't make it back. The formation is on top of a mound. Now, I used my truck's crane, but you have to find another way up there. There is something else I would ask of you. To the southeast is where I found what I believe to be a stunted version of one of these high biggest mineral-like sporocarbs. There is a circular area that is not waterized but some kind of rock. It's similar to the strange dense material but its molecules are arranged in a loose configuration, even slightly viscous like sand. I started digging but I ran out of power. Maybe you could take a look and get some samples for me. If you can dig down to the root of the growth, perhaps we can learn more about how this material is formed. I'll mark both sites on your compass. Think of it as a rock mushroom. Uh, I hadn't really considered that. I suppose our research could help you in your endeavors, eventually. For now though, I can only offer you my considerable wisdom. Mm -hmm. Of course you do. Ask away. Good. I had hoped disabling their vehicle's collision detection systems had been effective, but thanks for confirming it. It does put me at ease. Igor was his henchman. A jovial but simple man. I'm not sure if he worked for the Ministry as well. He was very loyal to Bai, but the Ministry tends to recruit unwitting allies, so this was probably deliberate. Maybe not. I didn't have the luxury to contemplate collateral damage, so the point is moot. I'm not losing any sleep over it. Of course you do. Ask away. Really, I don't know. Nobody really knows why the Ministry does what it does. Besides, I don't believe he meant to kill you. Perhaps you weren't even his target. It could have been your partner. After all, terrorists are dangerous. Even if they plague the enemy. No, I think the Ministry feared that we would be blamed for their sabotage in the long run. I'm sure some people within your organization have already been pointing fingers at us. Having a bunch of terrorists without ties to either side incite a war between us would be terrible. Perhaps they have. Perhaps the rot is deeper than you think. Who knows? I don't work for the Ministry. Oh, Ecofront has no love for the Republic. There's just nothing they can really do about it. They have no foothold in any of the Chinese territories, so they conveniently ignore us. They certainly have a point when they consider the state of things, but their methods are so crude. They are such misguided miscreants scurrying about in their vain attempts to halt the inevitable. Earth is beyond any natural ability to recover. It is up to human ingenuity to restore the balance. All they're doing is stultifying this ingenuity. You're entitled to your opinion, even if it is misguided. You'll be disappointed. Do let me know how that goes, will you? Of course you do. Ask away. Nobody at Tusing Yu had a real connection with him. Ling is always concerned with the people under his command, but with Bai it was different. Sometimes I don't even think Ling was consciously aware of his existence. A ghost, a number in his daily reports. Bai had that effect on people. Which is probably why the Ministry recruited him in the first place. Yes, with Ai Guo and with me. Of course, I was just a target he had to keep an eye on. And Igor was a useful idiot. His interactions with neither of us were genuine, although I'm sure 
that Igor was successfully duped. Of course you do. Ask away. That's hard to say. I think he had to have known something even if he was kept in the dark. Nobody is that stupid and makes it to a position such as his. Yet he cultivated his buffoonery well, not to mention his kindness and mild-mannered vomit-inducing personality. An impressive facade, really. He even managed to convince his betrothed Tassia that he was a simpleton. A performance worthy of one of those little golden statues you award to people for their tremendous accomplishments in frivolous entertainment. But I digress. I have often wished for some frivolous entertainment while being holed up in here. Dacia is a special person. An extremely gifted engineer whose understanding of the human condition is delightfully naive. She has an obvious neurodevelopmental disorder, but has likely never suffered from it due to her good looks. Even with the scar, she is a beautiful creature, isn't she? Well, if you're into that sort of thing. Your doctors would probably label it Asperger's Syndrome, but in our culture we tend to shun these labels. The closest approximation we have is calling someone self-closed. As long as someone is capable of contributing to the common good, we simply ignore these traits. It's a shame, really. She would have respected Aigua more if she knew the truth about Bai. But she wouldn't have been able to keep his secrets. She doesn't understand secrets. Of course you do. All right, all right, all right. Don't leave me waiting. Of course you do. All right, all right, all right. Don't leave me waiting. Speak. Yes. The possibilities with a material like this are endless. Its density will allow us to create gravity fields on a scale heretofore unknown outside of planetary bodies. We could fold space. I'm not saying we'll see faster than light travel within our lifetime, but if there has ever been a clear path towards it, it is this. All right, all right, all right. Don't leave me waiting. Speak. Yes. Certainly. I will not deny that Herschel employs the best scientists in the solar system, but when it comes to certain disciplines, they have a blind spot. I'm corresponding with one of their people, but so far they haven't been of much help. Very attentive, I'm, I'm sure they're analyzing all my data with vigor, but I feel it's up to me to get to the bottom of this. Perhaps when this is all over, I can seek employment there. The Republic will never reinstate my position after this. All right, all right, all right. No. Yes. Almost impossible to say. At first I thought it was a primordial isotope of uranium. If I had to guess, I think it was formed outside of the solar system. Then again, that's not really saying much since I have no way of dating it. All right, all right, all right. Don't leave me waiting. Speak. It is only natural. It's not a windmill, it's an eel. And you'd be surprised how much force this dense atmosphere can generate with a little breeze. It's enough to keep me alive, for now. But not enough to get me anywhere. I've been here for months now. I'm pretty good at adapting, a master at it if I do say so myself, but I am, for lack of a better word, stuck. I do, but it causes cancer, and since I no longer have access to Adenex regular treatments, it is for emergency use only. We're used to it. It is only natural. Not really. I've occasionally spoken out against the Republic's policies, but only when I felt it was necessary for my work. <laughs> yes, let's build a time machine and slay the infant Chairman Mao in his crib, or maybe Marx himself. Listen, those 
ancient ideologies have little bearing on our lives. It's just that all forms of government gravitate towards totalitarianism if left unchecked, and I have ample cause to resent that. Look at me. I'm being persecuted without cause. I can see the flaws in our system, but in the end it's all very inconsequential. The material I have discovered, however, is not. Let us please not get bogged down in discussing politics. It is truly the most tiresome topic of all. Then you are on your own. It is only natural. Well, you know my name. Magnus Kwokwe. I've been trained in many scientific fields, but I'm an astrobiologist by trade. I was happily recruited into the Ministry of Science on Mars until I was shipped out here. I was promised my own team and my own base of operations, but what I got was the shaft. Ling tried to force me into helping out with the nitrogen project, but somehow... Somehow I actually managed to get some research done. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not why I was ostracized. Ling outranks me, but I'm not under his command. I report directly to the Science Ministry office on Haying. Or, or reported, I should say. It's easy to forget my current predicament. I guess I'm a defector now. Hmm, it is only natural. Yes, I was chosen for a prestigious scientific position out of a population of billions upon billions. Your point? Let's play a little game of for- Well, I admit you gave me a run for my money, but you still really didn't stand a chance. Don't feel too bad about it. I've been undefeated since childhood. <laughs> Tis only natural. I may have mentioned this, but I'm from Aberdeen Island. After the annexation of Hong Kong, some Western families remained there. They were stimulated to mingle and reproduce with Han Chinese, but we kept some of our heritage. I'm a bit of an anomaly, as I happen to have two British grandparents. Most Guaylu descendants of my generation only have one. Not as such. They were stimulated, not forced. Besides, nobody entertained any notions of purity, rather the opposite. This was obviously a way to average out any differences. The goal was social cohesion. But you see, we've adopted Singaporean reprogenetics. I am by no means a transhumanist, but I prefer to call it a germinal choice. As a living, breathing product of this policy, I don't see the point in arguing the ethics of it with an outsider. It is a fait accompli, and I'm here. Hm, it is only now. Alright, alright, alright. Don't. Alright, alright, alright. Don't leave me waiting. Speak. Nothing. I certainly won't stop you. Ling doesn't work for the Ministry of State Affairs, not directly at least. Bai reported to someone stationed at Haiying. These hierarchies run parallel to the rest of our society. I don't think Ling would even risk mentioning it. Always better to stay out of the Ministry's way. If you must. They would have to send a new agent first, so I would have some time to prepare. If you're truly entertaining that notion, you could just kill me now and be done with it. Otherwise, let's turn our attention to something more constructive. Mm-hmm. Yes? All right, all right. Of course you do. I all right, all right, all right. Don't. I'm not sure. Your vehicle seems fast. Perhaps with a few upgrades, extreme acceleration or some kind of airfoil system, you'll be able to jump from that nearby mound. 
Don't worry about damaging your vehicle. Apart from the Magnite, the soil there is oddly mushy and soft. Coupled with the limited gravity, you should be capable of pulling off such an otherwise dangerous stunt without too much trouble. All right, all right, all right. Don't leave me waiting. Speak. Thank you. 
Don't leave me waiting. Speak. Really? You did? Tell me everything. <laughs> yes, I put it there. Of course it's not an alien, it's just a prank. It amused me to no end, thinking about whatever future archaeologists would make of it. Being alone out here with all these resources is mind-numbingly boring. And there's only so many times a man can masturbate, you know. All right, all right, all right. Don't leave me waiting. It's good. Very good. I'm putting this under the microscope right away. But I would still need to take a look at a route from the dig site. All right, all right, all right. Don't leave me waiting. Speak. Yes. All right, all right, all right. Don't leave me waiting. Speak. Thank <laughs> you. 